Hi, my name is Adam with ABE TV News. And my name is Dalen, here with Adam. We are reporting some awesome news about ice cream. At Smina Ice Cream in San Francisco, California, there's a school ice cream machine called the, the Burr. The Burr will make your ice cream very smooth and super fresh. The Burr took years to develop. Customers are allowed to see the ice cream be made. It's really cool. The Burr has a 3D printer attached to it. I wonder what that would look like. Well, those are our facts about the burr. And this is Adam. And I'm Dalen. We hope, we hope all of you enjoyed our report. Hi, I'm Evan. And I am Chase, and we're reporting about a cool canine. Ashley and her dog Napoleon work together to dog dive. Ashley trains Napoleon to dog dive. What is dog diving, you ask? Dog diving is when a dog climbs up a ladder and jumps into a pool. Wow, that's really cool. It has to be tricky to dive when you're a dog. Ashley's from New Mexico and started to like dogs when she saw some at a fair. This is Evan. And this is Chase. Signing, signing off. Hi, this is Addie. And this is Lila. We are going to be talking about technology these days. We believe technology is taking over our lives. I know kids or even adults who are on their electronics way too often. Yes, I agree, Addie. I also believe that people aren't interacting enough with their family and friends. Kids around the world are seeing how long they can put down their electronics. Are you up for the challenge? Turn off your phone or tablet before you go to bed or you won't get enough sleep. I'm Maddie. And I'm Lila. Saying, Saying shut, shut off, off to reconnect. reconnect. Hey everyone, my name is Nia reporting for ABE TV News. And this is Koya. We are going to tell you what's been going on with kids and technology. Some adults think kids are spending so much time on their screens that they don't think about their friends. Kids are on social media nonstop. Some parents say you should go outside and play with your friends. Kids say they have friends on social media, but S experts ask, would you rather have friends on social media or friends that are on your side? Kids, we need to play with our friends and spend a little less time on social media. This is Nia. And this is Sequoia. Thank you for listening. Keep, Keep calm, calm and, and play, play with, with your friends. friends. Hi, I'm Eric reporting for ABTV. And this is David reporting about leaf tail geckos. Leaf tail geckos don't blink. They use their tongues to moisten their eyes. Leaf tail geckos have sticky toes to grip on two tree branches so they don't fall down. At night, leaf-tailed geckos hunt for insects and invertebrates. The leaf-tailed geckos look like a leaf so predators can't find it. This is Eric. And this is David. Hope, Hope you, you learned, learned about leaf-tailed leaf geckos. Hi, this is AJ. And this is Connor reporting from ABE TV. Today we are going to talk about two dinosaurs. Did you know that scientists in the Gobi Desert in northwestern China have discovered the 70 million year old fossils of a very odd looking dinosaur. The fossils suggested that the dinosaur was humpbacked and had a large dome shaped belly. The recent discovery joins the cluster of fossils that were discovered 50 years ago. Is it a bird? A dragon? No, no it's, it's a, a dinosaur. dinosaur. The creature had feathers, wings, and could fly. It lived more than 125 million years ago. Hi, this is AJ. And this is Connor reporting from ABE TV. I, I hope, hope you learned, learned something, something today. today. Hi, my name is Emma, and we are here on ABE TV. Hi, my name is Claudia, here with a news report. R.J. Palazzo wrote a book called Wonder. This story is based on a real event. It all started when Palazzo walked into an ice cream shop with her two sons. As they walked into the ice cream shop, they saw a little girl that looked different. She had a deformity problem. And, and then the kids, kids began, began to cry. Palazzo took her sons away from the little girl. Palazzo never saw the little girl again, but she remembers the little girl. Palazzo has also started an anti-bullying program to help others. Don't, Don't judge your books by its cover. cover. This is Emma and Claudia signing, signing off, off on ABTV News. Hi, this is Kira, Lana, and Amira. We are going to, we're on ABTV News. We are going to tell you how horses communicate. When horses meet another horse, they put their noses together and smell each other's breath. The boss horse is a female horse called a mare. 
Horses use some sounds to stay in touch with each other so they can know where they are at. When a horse stands still, it is the leader, so it is a challenge who can stand still the longest. When horses flutter their nostrils, that means glad to see ya. Horses turn their ears separately to listen to different sounds at the same time. The horses can hear something coming close for it from behind, but it is also checking for threatening sounds. This is Kira. And this is Luna. And Amira. We, we hope, hope you learned something, something about, about horses, horses today. today. Hi everyone, this is Haley. And this is Lexi. We have some facts about lions for you today. Did you know that lion families are called prides and they have to communicate to feed and raise their young? Oh cool, did you know that lions can grunt, snarl, moan, growl, and purr just like a house cat? Before a fight, lions show their big teeth and stand their tiptoes. Thank you for listening. This is Haley. And this is Lexi, signing out. Have, Have a roaring day. Hi, this is Ariana on AB TV News. And I'm Key Brianna. We're here to tell you a thing or two about the progress on Mars. Did you know that that the NASA's Curiosity rover is hard at work trying to explore the planet Mars. People at NASA are hoping to find things that interacted with water. They have been studying a case of life on Mar Mars. Either current, ancient or current is possible. They're also trying to find chemicals. This is Ariana. And this is Kibriana. Live, Live from, from Mars. Mars. Hello, this is Nicholas. And this is Dominic with a report on selfie safety. There was a woman who got killed in a car crash while taking selfies. Deaths can be caused by selfies if you are not careful. One man was taking selfies while running from bowls in Texas. And in 2015, three students in India, India got killed by a speeding train while taking selfies. If you want to take a selfie, do it in a safe place and be careful. Well, that's all for today. This is Nicholas. And this is Dominic. Be selfie saved. Hi, I'm Jacob, and we have a story for ABU TV News. Hi, I'm Armando. Here's a story about rock chucks. The real name of this animal is the yellow-bellied marmot. They live in the, around the mountains in the western United States and Canada. Their fur is yellow to brown, and their claws are sh are short and curved but sharp. Yellow-bellied marmots live in many different burrows, some for home and some for hiding from enemies. They like to eat huge amount of grass, flowers, and flowering plants. In the summer, they eat lots of seeds. Yellow-bellied marmots live in, are the largest, largest in the squirrel family. This is Armando. And this is Jacob. That's that is all. We hope you liked our story. Hi, this is AJ. And this is Elias. Today we are asking, should national parks have Wi-Fi or not? A lot of people think national parks should have Wi-Fi because if there was an emergency, you might need to go online. A lot of people think that national parks should not have Wi-Fi because if there is a fire, just call 911. If 92% of people think national parks should have Wi-Fi, then it is official. National parks should have Wi-Fi. A lot of people also think national parks should not have Wi-Fi because it, it, they think it helps people escape technology and get active. This is AJ. And this is Elias, signing out. Go out and enjoy nature.